Cindy Otter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? Are you ready for another ABC for chronic pain? Um, I have my trusty little book here, which I've got all my information in on what we're doing for our ABCs. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm just, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I love this. This is just so cool. It makes me happy. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we did A, and that was um, Ache, Agony, and Alone, and we ended up with Ask, Air, Assist, and Attitude. So there's our A. So let's take our B tag. All right, what are we going to do first? Let's do the bad Bs first. Now, when I say bad Bs, hmm, I'm trying to think what I want to put on here. Let's just start putting stuff down. Um, we're going to add some glue. Got to get my paint part over here. Let's see, some matte medium. We'll get a, grab a paintbrush. Let's start putting some of these little goodies down here. This is just a basket of randomness. I love these. Somebody sent me these in the in the mail, and I absolutely love them. So, yeah, they'll probably be used in one of these. Uh, anyways, I'm rambling. Yeah, tell Cindy, shush, you're rambling. So, bees. When I think about bees, oh, black. Um, I think about burning. I think about trying to figure out what kind of papers I'm going to put on here. Oh, here's a piece of fabric. Let's throw that on there. Uh, red. We're going to do some reds, I think, because that seems to be what I'm pulling out. All right, so when I think about B, I think about burning. I think about bleeding. <laughs> the blues and boredom mm. right have I hit on any of those that you guys are experiencing because let me tell you I've experienced them all that's kind of cool too all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting some stuff down this is just matte medium in a squirt bottle and we're gonna start putting stuff down uh, just to get some color on this so what do we do um, what do we do? The first thing I'm going to say that we need to do, and my phone's going to ping, so I'm going to have to shut that off here in a second, is, um, burn. What do you do for the burn? Um, that's a really difficult question because I know when my, uh, legs burn really bad, there's not a whole lot I can do for them. Um, sometimes I will take and put ice on them and elevate them. That helps a little bit. Um, does it take it all away? No. But, it, you know, it helps. It helps a little bit. So um, another thing I'm thinking you can do is just try to elevate your legs. Elevate, you know, that part of the body that's burning. Maybe by elevating it, um, it will help you. Um, you know get through that part of the pain because burning is very difficult it hurts it hurts um, especially when you have like a fibro pain or um, any type of a nerve pain that burns you there's nothing there's really nothing at that I have found at this point that you can do with it um, I found it just keeps on hurting so I do elevate it. I do, uh, you know, try to get ice on it if I can because my body responds to ice, which is a good thing. Um, really, that's about all I can think of to do for burning. Um, try to figure out what you did to make it burn the way it is. That's a difficult task at times because you may have just, you know, got up and walked to the kitchen for a glass of water. And unfortunately, I'm going to throw this right down here. Then I'll just poke a hole through it again. So unfortunately, you know, that, that burning, sometimes, like I said, it's it's quite uncontrollable. Um, bleed. <laughs> the reason I put bleed on there is because, you know, if you're like the rest of us, you've either had some type of test done or some type of surgery done to try to fix the issue. And, you know, we always, we're human, we bleed red. And, um, you know, there's always some type of blood involved. Uh, the other thing I said was the blues. I know anybody that's listening to me is going to say, yep, because when you live with the chronic pain for so long, 
sometimes it can really get you down. It really, it, um, it really, really gets to your psyche. And when I say your psyche, I'm not saying that you're crazy. I'm saying it, it really mentally plays with you. You know, when you have really good day and then you've got four days that are really bad, it's just difficult. It's very, very difficult. I don't know why I'm doing red on this side. That's kind of weird, isn't it, for the blues? See, I'm trying to make it so it's not bluesy. <laughs> uh, this is just a piece of um, deli paper. I glued a couple pieces of deli paper together. And then I just, and I think I just got that on my glasses. Um, and then I just played around with some metallic paint over top of them after I wrinkled them all up. And eh, that's what came out. So, all right, let me dry this up. And we're going to, um, I don't know why we're going to use it pink. Let me dry this up and let's see where we're going to go from here. I'll be right back. All right, so I just dried this up a little bit and then I went and cut it and I cut it wrong, but that's all right. I've got a little bit of paint here left on my um, palette from a project I did earlier, so I'm just going to use some of that to just kind of go around these edges, take care of any of the um, tag that I didn't cover up, which is no big deal. Just kind of pull things together a little bit here. No baby. No biggie. All right. So we're talking about these big bad B words. What's the next one? Um, bleed. We talked about that. Blues. You know, unfortunately, um, I'm going to say this. Um, depression is not something to mess around with. And the minute I hear blues, that's what I think of. Um, if you are in that situation, um, please go get some help because there is help available out there. Um, and see what you can do to get yourself out of that slump, out of that um, depression. All right, so I'm just going to set that aside for a second. I've got, this is an envelope that I got in the mail, and I saw the pattern on the inside, and it's one I haven't seen before, so I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut a piece of it off, and I'm going to do some, just going to paint on me. Pull punch. I'm going to punch it. Um, what else can we think of for words? Boredom. Oh, yeah. When you first um, end up in chronic pain and you're out away from the normal social world, Boy, you talk about boredom. You could, I could, personally, again, everything I'm telling you is my personal um, experience or opinion. This is not the said word. It's not, I'm not a licensed counselor or that kind of stuff. So just understand that when I'm saying this, it's, it's how I felt. Um, I want to get some red on these a little bit. I, uh, yeah, bored. I went from, you know, working a full-time job to, you know, with lots of hours and lots of work to being home all the time in so much pain. <sighs> it's like, what do you do? Yeah, it's difficult. So um, for boredom, the only thing I can say is you don't have to be an artist to create. Um, maybe you like to bake. So maybe find a new recipe once a week that you know you can bake or maybe you like to cook find a recipe that you know you can try out new for you and your husband or wife or spouse um, try out um, you know if if there's a movies you've always wanted to watch you know something that really interests you maybe you're a history buff maybe you want to learn more about um, I don't know a war or you want to learn more about you know, I don't know how the post office created, post office was created, that kind of stuff. I mean, whatever. Um, try to find something that will pique your interest. Maybe it's genealogy. You know, maybe you can um, look at your, your family history or, I mean, there's just so much. Maybe you were an avid gardener and you want to find out more about the flowers that you, you know, planted or, you know, the list the, the, the list of possibilities is endless, and that's what I would like to, um, you know, see people do is start start looking and learning maybe. 
Um, maybe you're not too sure about what uh, disease or uh, mental, physical disability has, you know, done to you. Why not learn more about it? I'll tell you, when I um, had my second accident, well, my first accident, my second um, back surgery, you know, it was, it, I had to learn. I had to learn about what was going on in my body, why it was feeling the way it was, how come I had the issues I had, you know, what was causing all this. And once I figured that out, once I learned that, it actually helped me to understand why I'm in the pain I'm in. I'm going to use some of those words on the other one. All right, so I'm just looking to see if I can find anything else here to put on this. I like this. Let's put a little piece of this on. My phone is pinging. I'm sorry. I can't shut it off because I'm waiting for a phone call. So, let's, I like this. This is just cardboard, black cardboard. I, God only knows where I got it from. Hi, Abby. Oh, I got to tell you guys a funny today. Um, of course, you know I'm in my new home, and my art room here has carpeting. I basically, I've got one of the old bedrooms, um, or one of the bedrooms. And <laughs> Miss Abby decided at lunchtime she was going to come up and visit me. <laughs> well, she jumped up on the table, and when she jumped up, she jumped right into the red paint, which you just saw me use. Actually, I don't like that there. I want that going like that. Um, she jumped up on the red paint. And the next thing I know, she jumped down. I grabbed some baby whites, and I'm chasing her around the room. Well, yeah, I had red little kitty prints all over my carpet. <laughs> little stinker. But it was funny. When I finally caught her, I sat down, and I was wiping her off with baby wipes. I'm sitting there laughing. I was just belly laughing. It was too funny. Let's put you right here. All right. So now I put all that stuff down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write. As I pick up the stuff. All right. I'm going to write on this. Um, if I can use a regular pen. Let me dry this real quick. Just to make sure I don't have any wet paint. should be okay. Alright. Alright, so the first thing is burn. I probably should have written that in white. Let's try it again. Alright, that's not working either. So, what we're going to do... Oh, I've got a little bit of pink here left over. Let's throw some pink down. Then maybe our white will stand out. What do you think? Okay, so now let's try it. And then I'm going to find something something pretty to put on here because we don't want to keep, you know, all these hard words, harsh words around. So we're going to find something pretty to put on. All right, so we'll start with burn. We've got bleed. We've got blues. I'm going to add one more word to this. I'm just going to say bad. Because you know as well as I do, um, when we have those days, they can be bad. I actually had a couple um, a while ago, and let me tell you, it was rough, rough, rough. Now this is, um, I think, a bow bunny. I picked up it Tuesday morning the other day for $1.99. And I was looking at these. Let's just put something pretty. We want a pretty on here. And let's see what we got little. Let's do a pretty, shall we? Why not? Cake! <laughs> no, you aren't supposed to eat your boredom away. Says my love. I don't know why I call it my love, but yeah, let's not do that. Let's find a pretty, pretty, pretty to put on here. Uh, 
what's this one? Sweet Life. Yeah, that's not what goes on here either. Jar of candy. You know what? I don't consider that a jar of candy. Let's let's work on this. Um, this is like a jar of what I call pain. So let's make our jar of pain to fit in here. And you know what? We could have actually put the words on these jars. And that's really a good idea. Um, you know, I know you probably don't have this exact Bow Bunny set. But see if you can find a vessel. Um, something to put your bad words into. That'd be really cool. Um, or your B words, I should say. Um, see what you can find. I know uh, Gina Aaron's her new stencils, one of them she has a jar, which is really cool. We could have used that. But I like this idea. That might be jelly beans in there. I'm not sure, but we're going to make it bad words in there. All right. Boy, that Dean Wakely pink paint, it's got so much pigment in it. I love it. All right. I like it. I like it. So let's dry this up some more. Let me dry these up really good. I'll be right back. All right. So here not too long ago when I was in the dollar store, I saw this in its foam mounting tape, um, pre-cut, double-sided. I like that idea. So pick this up. Again, this was a Dollar Tree here in the U.S. And let's take... I know it's pre-cut. I'm going to leave it right in there just so it doesn't get messed up. I know it's... Oh, boy, that's sticky. That's really sticky. Um, wow. I'm really surprised at that. I just want... Right here. There's one. So that's going to sit there, and I want this other one right here. See, this has got a lot of stick -em on it, too. Wow. All right, let's see if I can get the top off them. Yay! Because I want this to kind of stand up a little bit. Before I tape that down, though, I'm just going to rewrite our words in here. So we've got burn, bleed, bad, blues. And feel free to make up your own words. Um, let's do boredom. Because you may be in a totally different situation than I am, and maybe there's different words that will um, work for you better than they, you know, than the ones I choose. I like it. All right, let's take. I'm gonna take one of my big. I love this. This Sharpie King size. This is a must, and I feel in in my art room. If I don't have one of these, I'm lost. I just love this big Sharpie pen. All right, so there's our B. What we need to do is we need to put a big old B on here. Let's do that, though, with this kind of a marker. So here's our B. Where do we want it? I don't want it up there. Let's put it right here. This is our B. So there's our B side. This is our bad side, right? We're going to flip it over. And I got now I have a bumpy tag to work with. We're going to make it pretty. All right, let me get some of this out of the way. Actually, I'm going to use some of these. But let me get some of these out of the way. And I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Wow, today has just been insanely crazy. Okay, here we got our B. Now, um... Yeah, I, I've been trying to get, I've had so many phone calls come in and go out, come in and go out. You know how when you move from one place to another, you have to deal with all the insurance companies and it, just everything. It's just unbelievable. And, you know, they say, oh, it's going to be cheaper. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> 
So, you know, you live and you learn, you find out some things once you get there. And it's, you know, it's all good. I'm not changing, I'm not moving. So, it's just going to have to be what it is. So, if you hear my cat in the background, there's really nothing wrong with her. She just thinks she's starving to death and she's not. Oy, oy, oy. Back to what we were doing. We were talking about our ABCs. And I'm just putting some tape down here um, because I'm going to put this on top and then cut around it. So we did our bad words, right? Our bad B words. Now we're going to do our good B words, right? I'm going to see if I can... I might have to take a little bit of marker to get the edges, but let's go ahead and put this on there. So the, the biggest thing I'm going to say about the good word is um, believe. Now, I know for a fact that when you're sitting there in that amount of pain and you have those feelings of, of boredom, of, um, you know, you're down in the dumps, it's blue, you've got the burning, the aching, the, the fire, the, you know, all of it, the throbbing. It is so very difficult to believe that you can make it through this day and things will get better. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be cured overnight. That doesn't happen. Um, but what I am saying is that it's okay. You will be okay. Um, you know, we all, unfortunately, we all have these wonderful... I call it the price to bear, you know, um, in humanity, and it's just so difficult. I get it. I totally get it. You know, I may hear people, some people sitting there shaking their heads going, yeah, you don't understand. Yeah, I do understand. I, you know, I totally understand. I get it. I, I have all those feelings. I can't say had because, oh, trust me, there's still days that I just feel like, you know, it's, it's, never going to end. And there's days when, you know, I'll say to my husband, I am just so tired of hurting. I, I can't do this anymore. But you know what? We do it. It says tell you. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, we do it. We get up. I'm gonna throw a little bit of pink on there. We get up the next morning. You know, we <laughs> head to the bathroom. We do our things. We brush our teeth. We you know, and then we continue to live. It doesn't just go away. It doesn't just, you know, but ah, you're done. It doesn't work like that. So you really have to believe, and you have to believe in yourself. And, you know, I've always heard um, the saying that, that God doesn't give you what you can't handle. Well, I'll tell you, and then there's always that saying, I wish you wouldn't give me so much. Yeah, you feel that. And um, you can do this. I know you can do this. Oh, I like that. I wonder if that should go there. So I'm just, I'm not sure I like that pink on there. Let's take that pink off there. Ew. <laughs> See, you do things and it's like, yeah, I don't like that. So let's take it right off. There we go. It's off. My hubby might be coming in saying something. I'll have to let him know I'm taping. So I like that. We're going to put that right there. So I actually got out some letters, and I've got the word believe here, and we're going to put that down here, but I want some more somethings, just some more pretties, maybe a flower. Like I said, this is a uh, packet that I picked up at um, Tuesday morning, and it was just, it's a bow bunny package. Look at that. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we'll put that right there. Um... Let me get out my other glue, and I'll be right back. All right, sorry, guys. So you can see the sun coming in. <laughs> Today's just been one of those days. Ooh. All right, so what are we doing here? We've got our Believe. I did. I was messing around with this off camera. I'm like, oh, I don't have the camera on. So I was thinking that'd be kind of cool to put that down there and cover up that tell your. And then I have this big flower which I think is really pretty. So I think that's going to go right there. And let's find something else out of this. I don't know, just something different. And I have Believe here, and I lost my B. There it is. I have Believe. So as I was saying, um, when, you, when you have 
the burning, the blues, the bleeding, the boredom, um, all of that are, are nasty bees. When we have all those, it's really, really important that we believe in um, ourselves. Believe in how... I lost my tape. I give up. <laughs> well, I'll use this one. I don't... Here it is. Oh, boy. Um, that we believe in ourselves and believe in... Um, the things that we can do and believe that tomorrow is going to be another day. It's going to be a better day. It has to be a better day because once you believe in those things, I'm actually, I just taped that down, which is good. Uh, once you believe in those things, it does make life a little bit easier. I'm not saying it's going to take away all the pain. I'm not saying that it's going to make life perfect. It doesn't, but it really helps our heart and our soul when we believe in ourselves and believe that yes, um, things can be better. And I don't see anything wrong with believing in yourself and hoping for better things. I think that's, that's just the way we all should go through life. Um, believe in the people around you. Um, if you've got people around you that will support you, believe in those people and, you know, share with them, let them know how you're feeling and let them out like that let them know you know what's going on inside of you and it will help them as well so as I was saying our bees um, this one is believe and again the same thing it doesn't happen overnight you don't just automatically overnight say oh yeah everything's great I believe in it no it takes a lot of time it takes um, I don't want to say practice, but yeah, practice. I want to find something to put up there, but I don't know what yet. Um, it takes it takes time, and it takes time to accept what's going on. It takes time to um, understand what's going on, understand what's going on with your body. Um, you know, figure out what's going on financially due to the chronic illness. Um, to think about all these things, it takes time. It does not happen overnight. I don't want these. I want these kind of cockeyed. Yeah. So, you know, I, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. If you're having trouble with these, put that right here, um, start journaling. Start a journal. And when I say that, um, I started out with a composition notebook and I just started writing stuff down because all this stuff was going over and over in my mind. And I was like, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how to do this. I don't. So I sat down with a journal and trust me, I just wrote and wrote and wrote. And was it all good and fancy and make any sense? No. If I wrote, you know, hurt 1200 times, I wouldn't be surprised. And it was just because I had to get all of that out of my head. So um, think about that this week when you're looking at, you know, your bees. And don't forget that you really do have to believe in yourself. All right. I like that. That's so cute. All right. Now I want to find something for up here. This has just been one crazy, crazy, crazy day this happy day. I don't want a happy day on there. Let's see. Documented. Believe. I wonder if I could get this a little bit shorter. I wonder if I could. Nope. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Let's look. <laughs> little box <of> tissues. <coughs> <clears throat> Not sure if that's what it's meant to be or if it's supposed to be a little gift but to me it looked like a little box of tissues ba, 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 says my sweetheart uniquely you look at these aren't these beautiful look at the flowers so pretty I'm just trying to find something different to put up there that kind of ties the whole thing in together I don't want a cake you know what, I think that right there might work. Let's take this. Actually, I could do it this way. 
do do do. I'm gonna stick that right under my B, which is fine. And we're gonna put that there. All right, so here we go. Here's our week for believe. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot more to this tag. Okay, let's just take this tape off. There we go. That's on there. I am, however, hmm, I'm going to punch back through that. Yes, I am going to do a little bit more of this tag. I want some goodies hanging off the top. So, I like that. That's really cool. Let me, um, i got to find my fiber, and I will be right back. Sitting here talking away. <laughs> Forgot I didn't have a camera on. So I just got a piece of um, this ribbon here. It's long. It's okay. Um, piece of this ribbon that I bought probably at the dollar store. And then I had a piece of this left over from somewhere. I have no idea where. So I just took two pieces of it, put it together. And then we're just going to have it hanging off. Now I'm thinking about putting some beads on this, but I'm going to wait until I get a little bit further on in my journal. And where's my journal? Here she is. All right, so do we want to do anything else to this? I'm thinking I should do some pen work. But actually what I'm going to do... I'm just going to kind of sketchy sketch these beliefs. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this series and I, I really hope that you will um, get out some tags and make yourself some tags about your chronic pain and do your own ABCs. You know, make what you're worried about on the back side and make it pretty and, and look nice on the front side. and. You know, it, it every little bit helps. Helps us to be happier people. So there you go. Here's the B, which is the bad words, the burn, the bleed, the boredom, um, feeling bad, the blues. And I'm sure there's a lot more. There's blisters and um, band-aids and I can't think of any more off the top of my head. But um, And then on the other side, we just have to believe. We have to believe that all of these bad words um, are gonna go away eventually we are gonna feel better and um, we can get through for another day so I hope you guys have enjoyed this as always like comment share and subscribe and let's put her where she belongs right here in her B pocket with her believe and I hope she fits yes <laughs> I didn't even think about that when I was making it oh no good thing she fits all right, and there she is. This is going to be so full by the time we're done with our ABCs. And I think it's just going to be an awesome, awesome little journal to hang on to. All right, so like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.